you've never been to the Goodwill bins before, basically there's a ton of bins that you need to dig through. Most of it is junk, but everything is so cheap that it kind of makes it worth it when you do find items to resell online for a profit. Everything is $1.29 a pound, except for books, DVDs, and videotapes, which are 25 cents each. Glassware is 49 cents a pound, and shoes are $1.79 a pound. If you guys have never stumbled across a channel like mine before, basically what I like to do is I like to go to flea markets, thrift stores, garage sales. I'll buy stuff for really cheap, and then I'll go ahead and resell it online on platform such as eBay, Amazon, FBA, or Mercari. Brand new sealed calendar. Oh, no. oh, here's a brand new sealed DVD. This could be worth something. But look at my first find of the day. Brand new sealed DVD. $36 on Amazon with a rank of 111,000. Craziest thing is that this DVD is only selling for $8 free shipping on eBay. Wow, these slides are really dope. Are they actually Adidas? Oh yeah, look, they're Adidas branded. These are really nice. Let's see the wear. I mean, not much wear on the bottoms either. These could be worth a little bit of money because of the red colorway and these look old, so I'm definitely gonna pick these up. Take a look at this, guys. They have a few NES games back there. None are really worth anything and they're individually marked, but pretty interesting to see. I don't know why, but it smells like McDonald's french fries in here. Right, let's see what we can find. What's this, Rubber Neckers, uh, everyone's favorite travel game? Brand new sealed. And take a look at this guy. This guy's going for $15 on Amazon. And then I'm gonna be making, it's not showing the profit marker, but I actually totaled it. And it says that I'm gonna be making $7 after fees on this. So this will probably only cost me around 50 cents. Oh my God, guys. I just got so much nostalgia from seeing this Little Bear DVD. I remember watching this as a kid. I scanned it on eBay, $35. And I was just curious to make sure the price was correct on Amazon. And it's actually selling for $43 dollars from FBA so this is like a $35 DVD that I just found and I'm only gonna spend like 25 cents on it and I just found this hat it's from Young and Hat Co I've never really heard of it but there was like 300 sold on eBay I can't find this exact colorway slash style but it's a pretty interesting hat and I should be able to get like 10 bucks for it and then I also found this Yankees hat but it does have a little bit of like dirt on it I might have to just wash it and see if it comes out so I'm not gonna include this in the estimate but I will pick it up is this a PS1? How much is this? $30 for a PS1. So just to jump in here, I actually passed on the PS1. There's not enough profit to be made. And plus, I don't even know if it's gonna work. $254 for everything? Yes. The reason why I think that this one is so expensive is because it is part English and part French. So keep an eye out for multilingual old kids movies slash DVDs. They could be worth a lot of money. So in total, this is around a hundred dollar haul and I didn't even spend three bucks. Every couple of hours, the Goodwill Bins actually does a switch and now it's time to go back inside and see all of the new items that they've put out. These are really in terrible shape. They just have a little bit of wear to them, need a little clean on the bottoms, but I'll pick them up. I wasn't going to bore you guys by showing all of this media, but I have a whole cart full of DVDs, CDs, cassettes. Some are brand new sealed, some aren't, and I'm just going to go through everything and then I'll let you know what's profitable afterwards. I did find a whole suitcase, though, worth of cassettes. Actually, the first one that I found in here, I don't remember where I put it, but it was from this band called Meatloaf, and it was worth like 10 bucks, so this could be a gem right here. I'll be honest with you guys, so far this has been a lot of work. This is all not profitable still have all this left to go this is the five dollar profit pile and then this is the ten dollar profit pile so so far we're at 10 20 25 30 30 bucks in profit we still have a ton more dvds cds and cassettes to get you guys remember this game mind flex it was such a ripoff i hated it it was the stupidest 40 bucks that my family ever spent on me as a gift sixer shirt MBA, medium. 365 all together. 365, all right. So I think I only ended up getting like seven items. I was really hoping that I'd do a lot better with that big bag of cassettes, but they just weren't that profitable. I gotta say though, I only spent $3.65 on this haul. I will be well into the profits from the Uggs alone. The Uggs are the most notable find and it's worth $25 plus shipping, maybe even 30. And then I just found two brand new sealed DVDs and then I got three cassettes and one PC game. So in total, this is around $65 in sales conservatively. 
and I only spent $365, so subtracting fees and cost of the goods, this is still $50 in profit from this haul. Add that to the $100 in profit from the first haul, and we're $150 in profit in just a couple hours. Hopefully, they're going to do another switch soon, and I'm just really excited because I found a ton of good stuff for less than 7 bucks. That's how much I've spent today, not even 7 bucks. So even though we're approaching summer, I love to pick up Uggs. Once winter comes around, they sell for a lot more money, and they fly off the shelves. I've sold so many Uggs in the past, so as long as Uggs are in good condition, I would definitely pick them up as long as it's a cheap enough price. Definitely a good thing to hold out on and maybe list a couple months later and just store it away. My girlfriend Emma is still shopping inside, so I'm gonna go and see if she found anything. Oh, there she is. You find anything? The you hit the jackpot with what? Yeah, found Gucci slides. You found Gucci slides? And they're authentic. How do you know they're authentic? Because they have the serial code. You can't really see it, but do you see it? Oh yeah, I see the serial code. It's like right there. Mm-hmm. And I looked up the serial code and they're legit. I mean, they have like wear to them, but like... But you found Gucci slides. Small business owner. Right, so. And then look at how cute these are. They're Kate Spade. Wait, these are actually really nice. Right? Yeah, I really like them. I found these. They're Pina X fans. And stuff like that usually goes well. I, I saw have so like, much stuff. I, I came out with like, like seven like items. Ultra boot or whatever. These NMDs, are. right? Yeah, yeah. I got these like Michael Kors boots. And I've never such good seen condition. Michael Kors boots like that before. I also found these which sell pretty good. I've seen a few of the same ones sell for 50. They're, pull, they're uh, Lauren Ralph Lauren. Wow. So obviously this is probably not going to be real, but. Yeah, I just have stuff to go through. This is cool. LLB LLB. Looks vintage. It's these, a mini backpack. <laughs> wait, these Nike Air Maxes are fresh yeah, too. I have to go through those. Are they in good shape? These are like in fantastic condition. This is going to end up being more than the entire haul that I just got. <laughs> so these are rubber Gucci slides? Yeah, so when you look up the cereal code, see, those are the same exact ones. They were 190 up there, but people like out of stock, 150 Look, some people like no box, 320 because Out of stock, 250 Guess they're an older model of slides. Due to the condition, you think, what, maybe like 100 Well, look here. I know, but you the know bottoms I mean? are kind of worn, so. I'm going to say an easy 150 150 Easy. All right, I was telling Eris, I was like, I was going to put these back, but then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to scan them to see if they are worth anything. And look. 100 bucks, 77 60 51 these are insane sold comps and they're selling for more right now oh wow what a good find yeah then you found the kate spade purse too emma really hit the jackpot today i say all the time but emma really is a better like thrifter and reseller than i am emma you gotta tell everyone what you just told me oh i said i feel like i stole from them <laughs> Why? Because you Cause got so it was only forty-two dollars for everything that I got, and I got like Kate Spade purse, a possible Louis Vuitton purse. I got Gucci slides that have the serial number and everything. Um, a lot of clothing, cool. Um, yeah, cool shoes. Not cool shoes. I want to eat. She wants to eat. That's going in there. Emma and I just got back from the bins. We were honestly really happy with what we got, even though we weren't there for a long time, like maybe just like two, two and a half hours. We were really happy. Like she found those Gucci slides. I found two like $35 DVDs. And then we just both got a bunch of other stuff. Anyways, I hope you guys learned something from my video today. If you guys did enjoy the video, please feel free to subscribe to this channel and toss a like on this video. It really helps me grow a lot. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Peace.